Hi, hi. Today our topic is decomposition. Decomposition is very essential because this decomposition it makes uh, the nutrients available for the plants. Uh, there, there are different uh, steps which occur, different processes which occur in the process of the decomposition. First, the decomposition. Uh, decomposition is a series of processes by which we are converting complex organic substances into simple organic or inorganic substances. First, uh, this litter. This litter, it is it constitutes leaves, branches, twigs of plants. These are called these constitute the litter. Uh, leaves. Branches, twigs, etc. They constitute the litter. This litter it is broken down by different physical processes and by some organisms as well. This process of breaking down of this litter is called fragmentation. Fragmentation means it is broken down into smaller pieces. The side is being broken down into smaller pieces. It is also being partially decomposed. Only so in fragmentation, breakdown of these uh, this litter occurs and partial decomposition of this also occurs. So fragmentation as well as partial decomposition occurs in this step of fragmentation. This fragmentation it is carried out by some uh, physical agents as well as some uh, biological agents as well. Means this fragmentation is carried out by some animals, uh, animal species as well. Now it converts the litter is being converted by the process of this fragmentation into detritus. Now this detritus it is partially decomposed organic matter. This partially decomposed organic matter, it undergo, it is converted into humus by the process of humification. 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 Uh, these, uh, this, this is being done by detritivores. Detritivores like uh, dung flies, crabs, some mollusk species, some species of molluscs. So detritus, uh, detritus, detritus be, is being converted into humus and this process is called humification and it is being carried out by detritivores. Uh, these detritivores, they take in this detritus, they eat this detritus and convert this detritus into humus. Now this humus, this is dark brown colloidal substances. So this humus is dark brown, dark brown colloidal substance. Now from this detritus, it uh, from this detritus it becomes Humus means it becomes dark brown colloidal substance. Now this humus it is being uh, it is being converted by uh, into minerals by the process called mineralization. Mineralization. This is being carried out by by mostly bacteria and fungi. Bacteria and fungi. These, these, these are also these organisms. These are also called decomposers. What happens in this, uh, in this process? This humus it is being converted into mineral substances, or we can say it is being converted into in or simple inorganic substances. Inorganic substances. Inorganic substances. 
لایک کاربن ہایڈروجن نایٹروجن آکسیجن فاسفورس ایکسٹرا سو دیس ہیومس اٹ از بینگ کنورٹڈ ان ٹو کاربن ہائڈ ان آرگینکس منرلز اور ان آرگینک سبسٹینسز اور وی کین سی پلانٹ نیوٹرینٹس کاربن ہائڈروجن نایٹروجن آکسیجن فاسفورس سلفر these uh, inorganic substances they are plant nutrients they are being taken up from the soil they get added to the soil from the soil they uh, they are taken up by the plants or producers producers from soil they are taken up by the producers so in this way the cycle continues first these nutrients these inorganic substances they were present in litter now litter but they were present in complex form now they uh, they have been converted into simple inorganic substances or or plant nutrients these plant nutrients are taken up by the producers or plants by, from the soil in this way the cycling of these nutrients occurs now uh, here this uh, humus dark brown colloidal substance it uh, the this uh, mineralization it occurs very slowly it occurs very slowly mineralize the process of mineralization it occurs very slowly uh, it also means that these nutrients they are released into the soil or into the environment very slowly so release of nutrients into the soil is very slow now what now the release of these substances they are released into the soil but the release is very slow or we can say this uh, this humus it somehow resists the microbial decay so it somehow resists it slows as uh, means resists microbial decay microbial decay microbial degradation that is why these nutrients they become available uh, to the, they become available to the producers very slowly now there are different uh, processes associated with it well, sometimes what happens along with water these uh, uh, nutrients they move to lower layers of the soil in lower layers of the soil these uh, nutrients well, which are which are which are earlier present in Uh, solution form solution solution form they when they move into the lower layers of the soil they uh, they precipitate they precipitate or precipitation of these uh, inorganic substances occurs this precipitation of these this process is called a leaching so what happens in the process of leaching the nutrients they move to lower layers of the soil and why and there the crystallization or precipitation of these substances occurs which means uh, these substances they now become unavailable for the plants so leaching is is a bad process it makes uh, it takes away it uh, takes away nutrients from the root zone of the plants and it also uh, converts them into solid form or and makes them unavailable for the plants now these catabolic processes catabolic processes or all the process of wire breaking of substances occurs for example this fragmentation this humification this uh, mineralization in all these processes breakdown is breakdown of substances occur so all these processes are catabolic processes fragmentation mineralization humification they are catabolic processes now uh, one more point i have wrote over here is reserve of nutrients this uh, humus it is reserve reserve or reservoir of nutrients there are the nutrients present in this and this humus it is releasing slowly slowly it is releasing uh, these nutrients or minerals or inorganic substances into the soil which then become available 
for the plants. Now there are some substances, this, there are different factors which affect this process of decomposition. First one more important thing, this decomposition it is uh, aerobic process. It means that decompose, this decomposition would occur in presence of oxygen only. Sometimes there is uh, very less oxygen present. In that case, anaerobic process occurs. In the uh, in and during the anaerobic process, foul smelling gases uh, are reduced. Foul smell. So wherever these uh, anaerobic uh, processes or uh, anaerobic process occur, there uh, there, uh, there the area is stinking. All smell is coming out of these uh, substances. Yes, there are different factors which are affecting the decomposition of uh, of a decomposition of a decomposition process. There are different uh, factors which affect the decomposition process. First is availability of oxygen. If the oxygen is enough available, the decomposition process would be rapid. Second, composition of substances. If these this litter or this uh, dead substance, if they come to, if uh, there is present more of uh, this chitin or lignin in them, they uh, slow down the process of decomposition. Whereas these glucose or nitrogen based substances, they speed up the process of decomposition. Third is temperature. If temperature, if, if moderate temperature is present, and some good amount of humidity, then the decomposition process occurs rapidly. So these are some uh, factors which affect uh, the decomposition process. This is uh, this uh, composition, temperature, and availability of oxygen. Thank you.